hi welcome to another video and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to set up your layers as a building student doing building drawing all right so um to set up your layers as a building student there are a list of layers that you might need to help in organizing your drawing and it helps with workflow and everything so that is what we're going to be diving into today so let's get into things now the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and select so we're going to select layers properties manager here so i'm going to click on this once i click on it um, a window is going to pop up like this where you can create your layers for your building drawing now in its simplest form there are some layers that you'll need and i'm going to walk you through the process you'll need layers to organize your drawing so it means that you want to separate things so the first thing we're going to do since we're doing a building drawing is that um, we're going to be copying well not copying we're going to be creating the layers now if you had watched my other video on how to create layers um, for as a mechanical student or even when you're doing your um, orthographic drawings your plain and solid geometry those are the layers that you'll use so piggybacking off that knowledge we're going to be creating our layers here now so first thing we're going to be doing is create our wall layer so let me click on new layer i'm going to call it wall so that one is going to be for my wall layer i'm going to create another one this wall is going to this layer is going to be for my i'm going to call it win for windows and doors so those are going to be on one layer by themselves i'm also going to need um, um layers for my fixtures fix fix fixtures that fixtures will be my my um my furnitures and such all right then i'm going to have layers for i'm going to have layers for um annotations and text so i'm going to go annotation here i'm going to have um layer for my dimensions always layer for dimension dimension i might also need layers um so if you're doing foundation plan and those stuff you could have a in detail line layer whatever you want to call it the option is yours what am i going to call mine i'm just going to call mine hidden for now all right i'm going to call mine hidden all right now there are some other layers that you can add um, in relation to other things but you can create them as you're going along so if you're drawing something and realize it and you're thinking okay maybe i should put this on a different layer so it doesn't interfere with the rest of the drawing i can always turn it on and off things like that all right so these are some of the common layers that you might need and most definitely you could have one for your hatch pattern that you might have all right so you have hatch all right so your hidden um, layer will serve for many purposes and you'll find out those in um, videos that I've created on how to create building plans from A to Z, those type of stuff. So these are the common layers that we're going to be using. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and edit these layers to give them their distinct characteristics. Because now all of these have the same properties. Everything is similar here. The only thing that is different is the name. So the first thing we're going to do is go through and change the colors. To change the color, simply click on the color column, click in the white boxes that you're seeing here. So click. I'm going to make my wall layer um, green. And I'm going to move to my window layer. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to make my window layer yellow. I'm going to move to my um, fixtures layer and I'm going to make my fixtures layer um, red. I'm going to move to my annotation layer and I'm going to make my annotation layer. So everything associated with the annotation layer is going to be, I have no idea what color this is. All right. Then I'm going to move to um, my dimension layer and I'm going to make my dimension layer um, blue. Then hidden, I'm going to change that color to whatever is left, which is this and hatch pattern i'm going to make my hatch pattern um let, let me make it this color up here all right 
So these are the color. Again, there are more layers that you can add for various other things and you add them as you're going along to organize your drawing. All right. So these are the basic colors that I'm using. You could have your own colors. Now in relation to your line types, your line type, your walls are going to be continuous line. Your windows is going to be continuous line as well. Your um, annotation, continuous line. Dimension, continuous line. Your in detail line is going to be a in detail line. So I'm going to load my in detail line by clicking on load here. Finding the one that says hidden. And remember there are different options here. So we have hidden, regular hidden, hidden times 2 and hidden times 0 0.5. I'm going to work with um, just hidden for now. All right. You can always change it accordingly. All right. So let's click on hidden and then go to OK. Once it loads to here, click on it again and OK. All right. So that's our hidden detail layer. Now we have adjusted the name, the color, the line type. So the only thing that is left is the line weighting. How fat the line is, how thick the line is. Now, we're going to start things off because all of them are on default back here. So I'm going to change wall line weight to um, 40, 0 0.40 that is. Um, the window, I'm going to make it 40 as well. 40 or 35. Let's work with 35 there so we have a good contrast. The fixtures, you can leave it at default. Annotation, leave it at default. Um, dimension, make your dimension 0 0.05 because you want those thin. Um, your, your hidden detail line, you can have those on the same as the, the wall, which is, I think we had it at 40, so let's make that 40. All right. So these are some of the common layers that you'll need. For your hot spotter layer, you can leave that at default. And these are the common layers that you'll need for your building drawing. There are others that you can add. So say, for example, you want to have a layer for a roof. If you want to have a layer for, um, say, titles. If you want to have a layer for just about anything. You name them. You decide um, what layers you want. So on and so forth. All right. So those are um, the basic layers that you need. Again, you can take a screenshot of this. Um, so that you can copy these properties if you so desire. But this is basically how you um, create your layers for um, a simple building drawing. Alright, so again, please leave a like, share and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.